Welcome guys, welcome to the new part of the game. I know you. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rainsfall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we... Are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah.
Schön. What's your issue? The hell's the matter with you? Yeah, yeah. Are you loose in the head? Well, who do we have here? That's a fine steed. Sorry, but the whole livery's full. How are you today? I gotta pay you a little less because of the missing paperwork, okay? You're gonna want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. Oh, yeah. That's a smart choice for your saddle. That's the same one I use, too. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. I'll treat this one well. Got a fancy streak, huh? I appreciate it. Nice. Howdy. No harm in Gussie and your horse up. Yeah, good looking horse now.
Arthur. So, what's for dinner? Dysentery again? Hey, what did I do? How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, what the hell have they done to me? Look, they in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it again. Oh shit. This is not good. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go!
Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said, is everyone accounted for? I don't know! I think! Damn, Kieran. She's never taken that O'Driscoll in. Shut up, Marston. You see what happened to him? Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me! Look what we got here. One of their boys! I got you. Go find her. Hold on, girl. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, no, they don't. We'll see you later. Shoot him again. Oh, why don't you? Find somewhere to land this, quick. Over there. They're in a skip. Sadie. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate him. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep.
Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. If you could give me some leather working tools, I could make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. Mr. Swanson. Hi. Well, I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Don't know about this morning. Okay guys, it's for today. Uh, it's again next part, Michael. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching.